And so it comes to this. One man, one dome, one goal. To keep it. Because if it should fall, so shall he and everything he's worked for in this world he cannot call home. We're here for another game. We're going to be changing it up a little bit tonight. Saw a pretty solid run on the highest difficulty with the sword dome. Looked pretty fun. Figure we could check that out. But, you know, we've been playing a lot of laser, engineer, shield. Figure we could spice it up a little bit. Gonna try the assessor. Sword, assessor, penguin, of course, and repellent. I think it's gonna be an interesting run. I don't know if it's gonna be successful. It really comes down to how much damage we're able to mitigate um, in these fights. I haven't played uh, Assessor for three or four days at least, and it is one of the more technical ones to get used to, so we may flub around a little bit, but I'm open for a good run. We're gonna proceed with this. As far as our best options, this is the, the mode for the kids. This is the mode for the grown-ups. It's your dome to lose. You asked for it on the huge map size. Does mean that we're going to be in for quite a long run here. A lot of gadgets, a lot of depth. Um, as far as what we're going to be working on, long cycles does seem pretty enjoyable. It's just kind of a... Uh, I, think, I think it's actually probably more challenging to go f with less, uh, long cycles off. Not because, obviously, the overall like combat flow, it's going to be a bit more challenging on long cycles. Everything kind of hits you at once, but just if you think about how much time it will take you to get from the top of the map to the bottom of a huge map, the, the, even with the repellent, that the cycles are going to be really long, and it's going to be very difficult to get to the bottom. So I'm curious eventually when I start doing normal cycles, if I go for that at some point, but for now we're going to keep with long cycles. And we're going to give us the tiniest little 1% of a boost here with a fully upgraded HUD. All this does is give us the resource counter, the monster tracker, proximity alert, whatever you want to call it, and the um, health bar. And the reason I go ahead with this is because if I didn't go ahead and start with upgraded HUD, I would save it for like a quarter of the video. I would be on round six and be still like, eh, maybe it's not worth it to get the health bar. Because it, honestly, it isn't. It doesn't really change anything for you. You can't change how much health you have on your play differently. You're always trying to keep the dome. So it's not really going to be a factor, this little health bar here. But as far as... Yeah, you know, peace of mind for the viewers and from a, like a streaming or recording perspective. I think this is good intel for everybody to see. I can't ever see myself spending money on the wave counter. That's just an absolute waste of resources. So even the, I, th I would say the proximity alert is going to be the, the most information you get out of it. It's basically worst case scenario, two free iron. And again, I would usually save it until like round three, round cycle four, something like that. So... It's up a little bump if you like it. Uh, if you feel like it's shifting too much, whatever, I, I disagree. I think it's a, the the most minor difference, and it's mostly for you guys, since I'm going to play without the intel if, uh, if it's between spending resources on them and not. So here we are. Starting to run. Yellow sky. A bit of an off world. Yeah, the Super Saiyan hair of the entry flame crashing down looks like we got goals for this one might have a bit of a mix we'll have to see but for right now we uh, currently have a blast orb i believe that was a mistake this was from my kids run and he wanted to keep it but we're playing and that means that we're gonna have to do our own thing so rather than you know feel like we're cheating some more with the blast orb what we're gonna do is just quit the title screen and do a new game. And I believe that means I won't have the blast orb. If that's incorrect, we'll have to see. But we're sword dome, accessory repellent, and we're off to the races. We do get a new biome here, or map tile set. I believe this is the default one. Yeah, the caves in the background are reminiscent of the first time. With a green fire, I uh, might throw me off a bit. We'll have to see. So we crash on down and we see none other than the Craigs. Yeah, so this was the third map that I ended up playing on. And uh, we'll have to see what it looks like. But we don't have that blast orb anymore. No more landmine. We have to remember we only have a few spheres right now. They have a limited cooldown. We usually want to keep one for ourselves. So the assessor is a very finicky 
uh, miner and has to maneuver carefully and really utilize his orbs in a very intelligent way. But he does get to do this. So that's pretty cool. All right. I'm looking at our upgrades. And I'm forgetting that it's actually more expensive. The first engineering upgrades are four. And we're actually seeing a different um, factor for connect sphere damage, for improve, improved rotation mining, which is what you would really focus on early. Bundle shot eventually, but not for your first thing. But uh, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and dig down. Still want to go for some of the easier stuff to access. And we do find ourselves a little bit more iron. Beautiful. So we'll just go ahead and pull what we can in. The U2. And a little bit of water comes our way as well. So this doesn't slow us down too much. And we can just toss it up into the ship. And we'll go ahead, since we have the orbs, we'll go ahead and throw it up and down here. Hoping it can break through the monotony and get to the water. Down and down we go. And a little bit more water coming our way. This will be into some nice gadget upgrades um, early on. In fact, we might be at a bit of an excess, but we're going to hang on to it. We uh, ended up spending all of our water in some kind of resource collection scheme. I think that we would regret it later because that could be super useful for a lot of our upgrades. We, but speaking of upgrades, we do have six now. We can go ahead and check out. I would say I, I like high rotational mining damage. I think it's pretty good. The problem is it doesn't have like a number attached to it. I don't know what it means other than it says transcends rock hardness, which... Uh, means that it basically it, it can dig through bit tougher rocks faster because it deals percentage-based damage to the rock. Um, I like it, but like this is straight double damage on my spheres, so we're going to go with that. We only have a couple more spheres to throw out before our next round anyways. And we'll go ahead and throw one out here on the left, and just do a normal vertical one, and we luck out and find a little bit of iron to take back home for our last foray into the mines. A little cobalt nearby as well. So we take this up. Perfect. Perfect timing. We start ourselves off the right way with some good iron, some good water. Now what we can go ahead and do is start off with our debilitate nice and early on. Um, sword dome probably can time this in a very specific way to kind of make the most of it. But the main thing I think is actually going to be trying to increase the delay of the um, repellent. I want to see kind of how it feels to be at like 0.5 wave delay cycles and see like how far ahead we can get with that. I haven't really looked at, um, into like the withering type stuff. Um, by default it doesn't feel that great. 50% increase to monsters is cool, but it's all short duration. It's always going to be only 6 seconds long. And yeah, 200% damage increase even. It's like triple damage to monsters for 6 seconds. Kind of cool, but you're not going to be hitting everything in that time frame, so... Not exactly my uh, preference here. So we're going to definitely go with the slow. The question is when we buy these upgrades. We've only got four. We've got a lot of water, so it feels like it makes sense to send it that direction. Towards the gadgets. Or we could just wait on for what our first gadget is and pump that pretty hard. A lot of ways we can go about this. I think we should just get used to the vanilla dome first and foremost. Just get used to the sword. I feel like sword is really bad at level zero, way worse than laser, but it scales pretty well. You get a bunch of orb upgrades on this thing, and it can be spooky how much it can combat. It can handle a lot of things coming at you from different directions just because of the nature of how it works. So we're going to go ahead and rotational dig this cobalt out. Three is a pretty lucky find, as that will allow us to get our upgrade pretty early on here for our dome's health. I'll go ahead and just check that out real quick. I definitely could have waited and done this later, but this is a little bit different than the armor of the laser. So the laser has percent based mitigation against melee. This is like a, just an armor buff, basically. It reduces the damage that they take. Um, and that's because, theoretically, the sword is better at handling melee by default, so they wanted to tune up the melee really nicely, but make it so that the laser has an option. On the other hand, they felt that the sword dome needed a little bit of impact recuperation, automatically repairing if it takes a lot of damage. So we're going to get this up to level two pretty early on. Which, if I take 200 damage, it'll—if I take 300 damage, it'll heal me 200. 
it's kind of a weird situation where you might be at like 275 and actually want to take more damage in order to heal some back, which I don't really want to focus on too much because you can get lost in the sauce pretty hard with that. But it's interesting that they decided this was the way to go with it. And yeah, I don't disagree. I'd rather have this over melee damage reduction for sure because you just get a lot of incidental damage, especially when you're not running a shield. And maybe one of the reasons why I kind of opted away from it. But if we get this upgrade, we're going to wait for one more Cobalt to get the other. We've still got plenty of time before our monsters show up. So heading down, we had a nice little setup going on over here. So I'll go ahead and throw one orb up and then rotational mine to the right and do a little bit more over here. It looks like we are going to be having to wait on our orb respawn to get the last little bit. But in the meantime, we can collect a little bit and throw these off to the side. Oh, one of them didn't make it through. We'll just slide it back down. All right, and we're just going to throw these. We're not actually going to send them all the way up just yet because we want to, of course, get as much as we can. So a little bit of rotational mining, a little bit of vertical, and we get our last two. Kind of a goal is to put these things on cooldown, so I'm going to go ahead and do that before I take the rest up. Though, of course, there's the idea that you want to upgrade these two, so... Yeah, you get try to get two in different... Oh my gosh, we started with this. This is my favorite upgrade of all time. Alright, we are taking... We are definitely taking two iron. And this might make this run not just feasible, but, like, secure. If you can mine the way you want to with this upgrade, you're in business. This thing doubles how far your fair character can see into the rocks. So I have to A for it, and so I will. And there you go. So what you can do is, instead of skipping what I would normally do is t two lines in the mines when you're strip mining, instead you can do four. We see already some extra information we didn't have before. So we're here, we're ready to fight, and we have enough to get a sword upgrade. The question is, is that what we want? I really kind of want to get more into the mining upgrades, of course, but I also don't want to take too much damage early on and feel like I'm playing catch-up. So I'm going to get... Um, Maybe an unorthodox upgrade. I'm going to get instead of sword damage or the stabbing, I'm going to go ahead and get reflection. And what this allows me to do is fight these gulls off a lot more effectively. There are gulls, right? Not wisps. Let me double check this real quick. And we are seeing wisps, actually. Well, that's even better, for, in my opinion, because if you are able to use this reflection to get a reflect the first hit from a wisp, it just kills it in, in one shot. So that's better than any stab damage at this stage of the game, for sure. So we'll go ahead and do this. Well, first shot reflected, first shot reflected, and one of them's just down. The other one coming out will get poked at, and the last one will get finished off here. So reflector shield, able to nullify a lot of the range damage coming in. To the point that I actually don't like the spire as an option for my uh, dome. I don't, for my sword dome. You'd think they pair pretty well together because it's a melee and you'd want to prevent projectiles more, but if you're really good at reflection, the only thing it really helps against is the big antler guys, that I call them the druids. Uh, and those guys, of course, will bombard you pretty hard. Alright, since we do have a little bit more insight into the wide world of the mines, oh, what do we have here? Alrighty, finding ourselves a nice little gadget. We're happy about that. wonder what it will be. Okay gonna be hard to figure out how we want to dig in here but uh, I think it'll be vertical and it's just a lot of rotational mining to get in to at least this layer here and that'll be okay and with a little bit of diagonal English on it we're able to mine out a nice even square and throw it up boom what do we get we get ourselves a nice friendly drillbert a condenser, get some water slowly produced, but Dribbler's my man. He's been with me since the beginning, and I think he can add a little extra oomph to what we want to accomplish. We're still going to really rely on getting a teleporter or a lift. Um, ideally the lift, because it doesn't even take the seller slot where you can get like a resource converter. But as it is right now, Drillbert's in action. He's ready to go. I'm excited about it. So, we'll see what we can do with him. In the meantime, yeah, nothing else to really worry about. We're going to go ahead and just set him down. Assessor control, just interacting with objects like Drillbird is a little weird because it's not the same you would expect. 
I want to go ahead and mine a little bit here. We'll throw this aside because it's already out, and we'll just rely on Drillbert to clean up the rest. I'll go ahead and send this out vertical. So we definitely want to get our bundle as our next upgrade, because then we can collect a lot more stuff that he might happen to find. Right now, I don't, as far as I can tell, there's no way to increase the assessor's speed while holding things. But the idea is that you're not supposed to be holding things for very long. You're supposed to be gathering them up, getting them in a little space where you can then just kind of rocket them out. So you are basically uh, energize them, give them some kinetic, a kinetic push, and then utilize that to move them around. We lost one, but I'm not too worried about that. I want to dig a little bit further this direction as well. So we'll go ahead and just send that down. And we find ourselves something. So we're going to go ahead and dig there. It means Drillbird's going to be a little less effective because we're not keeping an eye on him. But we'll, he'll have to deal. Don't have a lot of time, so we're just going to chill. Let him dig if he's still awake. And then switch it up with some combat. Alright, what do we have? We got the slingers. These guys send out some pretty tough rocks to deal with. And we're just going to have to eat one as we are focused mostly on these bubbles, which are kind of hard for the, dome to deal, dome, the sword dome to deal with early on. Later you get the longer version of this weapon. It's no problem at all, but right now you have to like time it more carefully. Alright, rock to the left. I really want to just bop that guy. Perfect. Yep, we have no additional means of damage, so we kind of have to gauge our projectiles, time our attacks. Luckily, these guys are desynced, where they're popping up at different times. I wonder if that's intentional. I wonder if there is, like, a code that says, left and right slingers do not fire at the same time. But here we are. Just trying to hit. We do miss. And it somehow gives us the sound effect, so I believe we did hit that one, too. We'll just get right on top of them. We kind of stunned him there. That's not good, because we actually do now have them synced up a little bit. And also, I cannot hit this one. I'm going to mostly focus damage on the r right one. I think I've hit him a few more times. And I missed that rocket. Oh, going to take two rocks here. Let's slow it down a little bit. We just want to try to maximize our health. Make sure we get the rocks. And now we're in a position where we can start pre-firing this guy. And as it comes back, it should hit him. It doesn't. Okay. That's fine. Rock one, rock two. We'll be more patient with this next pre-fire. But the goal is, like, even if this takes another... Like, one minute? Why are you back up first? Where did that come from? Alright, maybe it's just, like, completely random determinations of when they go under, when they come up. Which is kind of hard to predict. It means that we should really take advantage of the time we have while they're synced up. And we get the rock, we get the hit, and now it's easy mode. From here on out, we can chill. So, I took two more rocks than I think I was hoping for, but that's fine. We have Cobalt. We'll make it work. Alright, so we got the bundle, so now we can go ahead and check on Drillbert and then go back to the iron that we found on the right side. Oh, poor Drillbert. Well, fortunately we have the best way to bring him right back down. And again, we're looking for four layers of distance between where we were at before and where we are now. So we can even dig this one more time. Looks like it's going to be this one here. Then send this left and right, send him back. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and dig these real quick, because I have the orb for it. Um, yeah, we'll keep him on his proper trajectory. And we'll just do what we can over here by ourselves. Well, proper trajectories don't mean anything in this game. So, so that's one, two, three, four, right? So we want him here. And we'll take a little bit extra time to get that right. Because we can see so much with this extra goggles if we just put them the right way. I guess I should have just done the rotational binding for that one. That's okay. The point is, we now have this bundle move, so we can just kind of combine these together with this, making it a double bundle. And then with our extra orb, we can then send that down and grab our bundle along with some water. Send that up here, grab it all together, and send it to the right. So if you touch any part of this bundle when you're like doing absorption mode, you ca collect all of it. It just kind of latches onto you and runs li right along like you'd want it to. All right, our repellent is done. We're going to gamble a little bit by actually 
uh, pop in the repellent and then trying to go and see what we can do with this iron over here. So we go ahead, rotational mine low, fire to the left, and then really we should be vertically throwing at this point, but it's kind of hard to reset that. So we're just going to move. Uh, we can tell this guy to wake up real quick, and I'll, I'll send him off this way. I think that'll be the most helpful. He's going to get scared here as the fight begins, so he's not going to really be doing too much for a while anyways. But at least that's one less thing we have to worry about as we're flying down. We're not like ru making rushing our way back down. So at this point, there's a couple ways I can go. I spend my money on improved rotational mining, or I can emphasize the dome. Um, dipping into slows, dipping into other stuff. Um, tough call. There's a lot of good potential here. Seeking treat. Okay. Don't want to go too far into Dil uh, Drillbert when there's so much else I can be doing right now. But yeah, I think we just need a good baseline improvement on our damage output. So we can do this, and then we can start drafting up our slow, right? I think those are... Or do the do this right here. It doesn't cost as much water, but I think delaying the waves longer will be good. Again, I want to do that <laughs> when, when it's full, though, because I think that that's when you get the extra value out of it. So at a bit of an impasse, we'll go ahead and just grab the slowing effect. We know we want this, it's just about a matter of when we want to buy it. So these are both combat upgrades. I feel like we're going to be pretty confident to block most of this. Bop, bop, bop. But they go ahead and scuttle all way before we're able to really take do anything about it. And we miss our first reflection here. We got a lot of bubbles. This is going to be a lot of damage coming in. And I released that a little bit late too. So we're just going to go chop, chop, chop. Inevitably, we're going to have to pop that heal. And this is not a good heal right now. It's only level 1, a Cobalt upgrade. So it's going to be a only like 80, 85 heal, something like that. Um, and here we are. So I didn't have to debilitate for this. Because I researched it after the um, encounter had already started, it wasn't available right off the bat. Which is a shame. It's very sad. But we're here. We're here doing it now. And we're actually poking this guy right when he's supposed to shoot the rock. Which is preventing him from doing so at all. Because his stun, his invulnerability timing is different than his other stuff. Not where we wanted to be at this stage though. I just bought two upgrades to try to make that dome fight a little bit easier. And we still got handled pretty hard. With just the bubbles being a little bit too much for us. And I think I was just kind of playing poorly at that moment in time. Anyways, we come down here. Drillbert's working his way through. We'll do a vertical throw down bottom. And that should clean it all up or very close to it. So we can now fire this off. Finish off this guy. And I think I want to bring this lower. So we're going to go ahead and send it down. Now our, it's quite possible our goods will come crashing down here in a second. We'll try to catch them before they do. They're just kind of hovering along. So we got them all here. We'll throw them up. And they might be able to actually make their way through. I'll just kind of keep an eye on that. I want to get a better feel for what this looks like. So very close to just doing it itself, but instead we're going to toss it up. So this took way longer than I needed to. All right, moving on. Oh, do we want to do an upgrade? I imagine we do want to do an upgrade. The question is, which one? I'm kind of, again, it does, I, I hate that there's no number here of like what percent is transcending the rock hardness or whatever, but it felt the one time I did get this upgrade, it did feel pretty decent. And I don't imagine I want to get it later on. So I'm going to get it now. And yeah, we'll see what we can get out of it. Um, love this vision though. This vision is actually the real upgrade. This is what's carrying me. It's just allowing me to see deep into the details of what we're digging into make sure we're not wasting too much time i think effectively it'll save us like two fifths so about 40 percent of potentially the digging time um i guess more accurately we'll avoid mining two fifths of the empty blocks in theory that we um you normally waste time on trying to get to the real goods you still obviously have to put the same amount of time digging up the actual resources, but the uh, the path along the way is much clearer. So, go ahead and shoot that one in, nice and easy, and then we can get ready for the battle. 
Hmm. I want this resource to settle. Or not. Come on, guys. There you go. And, yeah, we're still taking some damage from these bubbles. So, I figure we want to go ahead and improve our stab. Still a little ways off on that. And I think that means our resources will have to hold. For the moment, they will. Do we feel like we need an upgrade? Well, we've got this one. It's a big one. If we end up taking 300 damage, which is just under a third of our full health bar, which we have, then we'll heal instantly heal, or not instantly, but we'll heal up 200. So that'll be good. The other bit here, we want to just go ahead, instead of spending the cobalt and repairs, we're just going to spend it on this upgrade, automatic repair. We need to get the health upgrade for that, though. So I think we're fine for right now. We're going to get that 300 back. I think we'll just have to risk it for the biscuit. And, you know, sometimes you have short runs. Sometimes it doesn't always work out the way you want it to, but it's important to have your priority straight. And my priority is getting an efficient repair over an early one. This guy does hit, though. So I'm going focused on timing my stuff so I hit almost all these bubbles. You're always going to have a couple slip through, but we hit what we could, and we're doing okay. I think there is some cobalt visible. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. I might have just mined it, so it might be crazy. But we're going to keep digging around. We've got ourselves one gadget. There's some cobalt. And that gives us a nice uh, elevator down as well. It allows us to start digging downwards through what would otherwise be kind of thicker material. So we'll go ahead and do that. And give ourselves a break. Now the one thing is you cannot mine while holding things. I think that's probably the one decision that I like the least about this. So I'm just going to go ahead and infuse this with a little bit of arcane energy and send it where I want it to go and hope it gets there. Or it spins like a bumper car. I don't I don't know. Get get out of here. I'm not even wanting to waste time on that. But yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll check on Mr. Drillbert. He's doing some good work. Alright, and he'll just keep at it, because there's no reason not to. This is kind of harder stuff. This is where the transcendence comes into play. And also where I think the assessor excels over the engineer in this one specific situation of chunking some really hard material early on. He doesn't rely on excessive drill upgrades to be able to reliably push through a few blocks. Now, because of the whole geometry of how it all works, it takes him forever just to get into a position where he can hit these blocks. But the blocks themselves break at a decent pace. And that's kind of cool. Ah, oh, I forgot. I charged those up. That's okay. I can carry it all. I'm I'm a strong wizard. So we fire this off to the side, and then we gather it all up again. And we move on. Up, 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 and away, and that's not the exit. Ooh, boy. It's going to be a little harder than I thought. We might just have to leave the bundle, and we will. Just go ahead and send it over this way. That'll uh, give it a good... Oh, I can move much faster if I just drop this, which I will. All right, so worst case scenario, it's in that corner. That's not bad at all. And will give us the potential to be in here. But we have to remember that we don't have health bar. That's bad. So I'm going to go ahead and drive a second cobalt here because we're going to need to use it immediately to repair or die. And that's important. You know, hashtag efficiency and all that. All right, so debilitate and fight. We got some... I think we can actually kill some of these bubbles because of the debilitate. So battle, debilitate, and chomp, chomp chomp. Not that bad. Not that bad. Maybe you overreacted with the double cobalt, but you can't blame me. Like, that was looking bad. That was looking real bad. So the key to the sword is movement. You can't just really sit still. It's not doing any potential damage if you are just chilling. So we're going to go ahead and keep swinging and finish these guys off. Even hitting one of the wisps with his buddy's projectile. That's always fun. Not looking super hot, but we don't have enough for the upgrade, so we're just repelling. Heading on down, checking out what gadget we have found for ourselves. So in the bottom right here, you will see a nice little stockpile of goods. 
So we send it. We're never gonna like we're not right now sending it the right direction, but we're sending it in the general direction we want it to go, so that we can set it up to go in the right direction. Which kind of is a lot of words for what this entire the way that we approach digging with the assessor as a whole. We don't dig in the direction we want to go. We dig in a way that sets us up to get close to the direction we want to go. And that's why it's not intuitive. That's why it kind of is a feels bad class. But once you've kind of played around with it and you've thought about, I don't know, L shapes and how knights move in chess, like, I don't know. It's just, uh, it does start to make some degree of sense. All right, I have to send all this up. A stun laser or a condenser. I'm going to go with the stun laser here. I think there's some good potential there. And this stuff needs to come up here now. We want it to be our friend. And here we are. All right. So maximum health seems like a good option. We're sp we've been spending some HP repairs, and we would like that. But we also like some uh, extra spheres. We also like some extra weapon power. So go for, hmm, there's so many options here. It's almost overwhelming how much options we're looking at. I like Drillbert's dig power. That's pretty important. I like my spheres. Okay, so we have four there. We have five here, and we have five here. That's Obviously, we don't have 14, so we're going to have to choose. I don't think we need the spheres. It's either we want the spheres or we want the Drillbert upgrade. I'm going to play with the spheres because I feel confident in my ability to use three spheres a lot better than two. And we like fast stab because javelin's cool because in general this is just gonna take down a lot of the smaller stuff much faster. And the stun laser will cover the rest, I guess. All right, we got this upgrade autonomy, only costs water, stun laser move faster. These are pretty cheap iron-wise. Um, yeah, I'll go with a little bit of conditioning here since Drillbert's mining through some tougher stuff and the hits are not coming as fast as they used to. Here we are, moving down. Drillbert is waking his way to the left side. So we want to go down, but we're actually going to go right to go down because we want a backboard. We want something to bounce our rocks, our spheres off of. If you don't have something behind you, they're really firing a sphere at a brick wall is just completely meaningless. Um, and Drillbert, did he make it all the way over here? I'm kind of surprised how that even happened, but he's here. We're happy about that. And the cooldown reduction for our spheres is very helpful for allowing us to take care of business over here. Keep things rolling for Mr. Drillbert. Yeah, see, we just have a lot more sphere action, and that feels good. Um, I'm just going to tell Drillbert to go to the right. One, two, three. We could go down one more if we can. That would be great. And then we'll just go ahead and send him on his way. So we got two more that we need to kind of rotational mine out. That shouldn't take too long because of our upgrade. If it does, it's not a good upgrade. But it looks fine, actually. We're not going to be able to get this out, but we can send it in the right direction. And that's still kind of good. This would be a good health upgrade if we want to go that route. We are taking a lot of damage, after all. I need to just move, though. Um, all right. Well, you can just stand there, I guess. That's kind of not what I had in mind, but it's fine. I think I should go to the right. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm taking damage. I'm dying. I'm... I talked so many times, emphasized so many times, the most important thing to do in this game is just to be in the chair at the end. And I'm playing on long cycles and still getting greedy for it. I will make the excuse that if I was playing the engineer, I wouldn't be doing this because I've kind of gotten a good rhythm for him down. The assessor just takes a little bit extra time to kind of like plan out your moves. And, you know, if this was my 100th assessor game, maybe I'd feel differently. But right now I feel like it's kind of hard to... Uh, just, I don't know, get everything aligned, get everything organized the way I want it to. Anyway, so we got a lot of water, we got a lot of not much else. So we're just going to go ahead and hit our only cobalt repair and do our best. Well, the bird got away, unfortunately. We can get him next time around. And we'll go ahead and hit some bubbles. We love the stun laser for the bubbles. If they're he's not already preoccupied hitting this slinker, but he is, so that beefy boy is going to cause us some trouble. Now we've got our friend, the bird, flying up. Just need to align and shoot right before he gets to us. Nice and easy. And we actually didn't lose too much in terms of health. Not bad at all. Let's go get our horde that we were sending up earlier. I guess it's better that it didn't go anywhere compared to it falling down some random shaft. 
that's not too bad. Like, digging, yeah, obviously this is the top layer, but digging through brick like that with the rotational is kind of nice. We'll see what happens. Got some water from Mr. Drillby. I'm just going to go ahead and do throw out some orbs and s absorb and throw. Throw out some more orbs. Mostly trying to get to the right here. And get a little bit of water for ourselves. Very nice. Keep it all together. Make sure it doesn't lose its charge. I don't really have an internal timer for when that happens. She seems to stick together for quite a long time. But regardless, we have it where we want it now. And we can just send it up. So, at this point we could get... I mean, we've also got the orb upgrades we want. Let's say Drillbird upgrades would come next, but it's all good. And, like, I want to carry this guy around, but I also can't attack while that's the case. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Priorities, priorities. Yeah. I think it's definitely an awkward gatherer, more than anything. It works. It's unique. It functions. It feels cool when you get it right, and you can carry, like, a huge amount of stuff through some tight corridors, but I see some drawbacks to it, too. For example, what are these? What am I doing with this stuff right now? I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and send it. And we get a little good bit of good intel into what's below. So. Then we go to the left a little bit. Unfortunately, we don't have a backboard for this stuff, so we're just going to have to hit it from the side, but that's not too bad with our extra orbs. One extra orb spawns, and I don't think I can gather much of this. But, of course, we're going to try. Oh my, again, again. I keep on thinking I have an exit, and it's just not organized the same way it would be with an engineer. I'm not going in straight lines. I'm going in L shapes and zigzags and X marks and... Well, everything but. And birds hitting already. One cobalt exists. We're getting the health upgrade for sure at this point. Would feel bad if we didn't. So, health upgrade it is, get the water upgrade as a result, now we don't have to spend cobalt on repairs, it'll do that itself, and we can start pumping up our delay timer, which we've been meaning to for a bit. I don't know if any of this is really like optimal decision making, I, there's still so many routes you can go, I mean, it's multiple pages full of upgrades, but I like the upgrades that I've gotten and we'll just have to stick with them. Um, I don't think I can kill this bird in time. I can. It's amazing. Alright. Try to delay what I can of this guy. He gets... An, an, he's. I don't know if it's his AI specifically, but he seems to get pretty annoyed when I hit him with the blade of the sword. He just kind of chills there, flexes on me, and the end result is he's pretty easy to stun lock. Which is kind of cool. Alright. Nice long duration. I think it's like 0.38 or something of a cycle as a bonus to work with here. So this should be a good time to recoup, to pull up what we want. I'm going to try to clean up our tunnels a little bit. Obviously there's no resources value in here, but I'm just, I want to be able to move and get where I want to go without having to maze around. So we're going to send that stuff up. I think that will be okay, but more importantly I need to just gather this stuff, which is not available anywhere else. We've sealed a bit of iron. Yeah, I would have been probably more hopeless for this run if I didn't have the vision upgrade, but we definitely can get the resources we need to make this work. We just have to time it appropriately. So all of it la leashes together. We can grab this little water, and then we can pull the send it all up. And it kind of like follows along the walls, and then pulls up here. So I have to move a tiny bit to the left, which is awkward because, well, that's not obviously happening. So I'll just reposition. All right, so all this bundle, all these, everything that's glowing right now is charged together. If I touch, pull one, it pulls it all. That's what the bundling thing is. Like even reading the text for a while, I didn't really know what I was looking at talking about. But we're making it work. The problem is this entire time, we're not using our or our spheres that we wanted. We don't have that cooldown. That cooldown reduction feels wasted when you're not using the cooldowns properly. But here we are. Minus one iron. It looks like that'll stick back that way. There's not as much we can do about it, but 
we send it up, I think that will all go. And we can probably just do the double sphere damage now. So level two. I don't know if we have 12. So six more in the bunch. Yeah, we should be okay. Health upgrade is not unwise either, especially with our Cobalt Cult account, but we're going to rely on that that heal back from our impact recuperation and just focus on the connect sphere damage. You also notice that the wizard is fast. Very fast. You compare his move speed to the engineers and one little upgrade puts him down 110, a massive amount of speed available. Does allow you to kind of take for granted his level zero speed for a lot longer than you would on the engineer. But we do want to get that upgrade pretty soon as well. Stopping to collect one iron feels pretty bad when Drillbird isn't working the way he's planned or slotted and that we have just some iron chilling here. So, hey buddy, it's time to work. We're going down town. So we want to go four down and we can just dig into here and then pull him up to it and send him on his way. Uh. All right, so we'll just do a horizontal and then we'll do a vertical. Oh my gosh. So much good stuff once we get to it, but we do not have time for now. Get in the chair. Let's go. It'll all be there when I get back. No way's taking it. Orbun cooldown. Ba-bam. Orbun cooldown. Ba-bam. Let's go. Escape to the surface. Escape to the chair. Save the dome. Keep the world alive for whatever existence is implied by my presence here. I don't know. I don't know. I almost feel like autonomy actually has value, especially with the amount of water that I'm working with right now. But maybe I'll feel differently later once I actually get some good iron flow going. Tough call. I've been late a lot, though. That is true. We'll hold for now. Does autonomy actually set up any good upgrades? No, it d isn't linked to anything, so it definitely feels like a waste. Advanced conditioning for Drillbert? I can see that. It'll get us a little bit extra value. And we're battling. So we took a lot of damage from the hovercraft here, whatever you want to call it, call it the flying fortress. The, um... Actually, I forgot I could reflect projectiles for a second. Usually these are like so scattered it's impossible, but I slowed down time with the debilitate, so we're doing just fine. He drops his payload just off the bat, so there's really no further damage concerns, but obviously our health is not looking great. But we did find tons of resources down bottom. We just need to get them up to the surface. And let's see the best we can do that. I think just maybe doing this a little bit would clear out some of the path. The problem is it will time out before it gets a second bounce. Drillbert, my man. Let's go. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, you find some water. That's what you want to do. That cobalt could be helpful too, but I don't think we're going to need it just immediately. Yeah, it's very awkward. Um, maybe there's a better, more efficient way to collect than what I've been doing, but so far this is how I've been able to figure out how to move large stacks with this like bundling gathering system. You just like kind of push it all together, send it the direction you want it to go, and hope it gets there to an extent. Uh, one cobalt, come on, you can do better. I could just do a regular throw for this one, but I didn't, oh well. So I don't even know where my resources went. They went down that way. I wanted them to go upstairs. But we also have this stuff to worry about, and we have orbs to use. We want to keep the digging. Yeah, I've tried the um, bounce back thingy, where you reflect the orb off of yourself. It feels cool when you hit it, but you almost, you very, even with practice, I think I'm still going to be very inconsistent with how often I hit it. And also, I don't actually think it's nearly as good as just having more orbs that you can carve out a, a better geometry of the, the landscape for. So, All in all, I have to say, I don't think I'm doing that bad. Yes, it's not where I would want to be on an engineer path, but holding myself to that metric, that bar, is ridiculous. The fact is, this is not an engineer run. 
This is an assessor run, and it's a lot harder. Just let's be real. It's a lot more complex, and there's a lot more to worry about. All right, let's send it all up. The payload is here. Scooch it through here. And send it up again. I cannot physically move when I'm holding this thing. But we'll just kind of scooch it up again. We're almost there, guys. Just a little bit further. That's not really helping your situation. That's probably the best we're going to get for now. And we just have to make sure it's safe for later. So we'll send it to the right and hope we don't die. Uh, I don't want it to fall. If we weren't at the top of a cliff, I would just not bother. But we are at the top of a cliff and I need to move. All right, here we are. Slinger. I believe some birds. And uh, I've got the automatic. I'm going to trust in the automatic repair. And just go for the f f I mean, there's no, literally no reason to do that. Just do it now. I'm going to need that health. So we're here. We're battling. We're worried about that bird firing again. But those slingers can be a problem too. For sure. So we'll do this. Oops. I messed up that throw, but that's fine. Alright, so the, the bird, or the, the hovercraft, the moth, the flying fortress, the bombos, whatever we're calling it, you can't really block all of its shots. They come in just a pattern that is not going to work in that fashion. The stun laser should do good work against these guys when it's active. It's offline half the time, and the other half it's moving, so that was, that was the biggest whiff, but it's fine. We're going to play patient. We're going to chop some rocks. We're going to win the game. We just have to think about the delicious payload of iron and other assorted mounts that are awaiting us after we finish this level. He's down. We get one rock. Oh, we got it. Just barely. Barry Bonds knocks it out of the park, and we are done. <sighs> Repellent? I was thinking about getting my materials, then upgrading the repellent, and then using the repellent. But let's just use it and not think too much. Gives us more resources for something else. Away we go. Chomp, 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 chomp. So it's actually better that I go into pause mode to let this chunk through and see what we want to do with our new materials. So the only way to increase how we move stuff around with the Assessor is um, these these two upgrades right here, which are, I would say, overpriced. Um, obviously, when you look at like how much it costs for carrying capacity and movement and stuff for the engineer, it probably parallels that pretty decently. But at the end of the day, Bundle Shot itself covers 90% of, I would say, what these do. This makes it so that it basically the bundles don't fall apart ever, um, which helps a bit. And this one basically gives it like a... When you look at the lift, and the, the vertical lift that you get as a gadget. When you fire stuff into the middle, it stays there. And this is basically what that does. It, it just basically locks in the bundles to go into the central axis, which is cool, which is nice. And it can basically make a nice, efficient pathway. So I would actually, if I'm ever going to take this upgrade, it's to try to get to here. But we're not really there. We are actually just one iron off. But realistically, we've got to upgrade our blade. We've got to upgrade our health. And then we're going to go probably further into um, our kinetic sphere stuff. So away we go. We have four cobalt. That feels good. Now that we're maxed out on health, we might as well spend it, even though we have the automatic repair. So here we are here. Let's move. Let's see what we can do. A little bit of shimmer in the air, perhaps a pretty big fight going on. Or maybe that's the effect of the repellent that I never stick around to watch. Either way. We're going to head down. We're going to check out Drillbert's activities, what he's been up to recently. And send these up real quick if I can. Oh, the jetpack upgrade actually would be really nice too. Get a little bit of movement speed. 110 movement speed is pretty nice. That stuff's going to fall right back down. Who am I kidding? All right, just clear this out a little bit. This will kind of make it easier. I can even diagonal a little bit. Just kind of get rid of some of this junk that's in the way. The more junk that's in the way, the harder it is to get my materials back where I want them to be. I don't have that central... Like, even just building a central pillar, taking the time to make a path that would be, in theory, a vertical one, rather than, like, automating our bundles to go that way, will clean things up. Because then we have somewhere to put stuff cleanly, and it's just... Everything flows from there. 
Drillbert, finding a buddy here, goes ahead and unlocks ourselves a gadget. And we're pretty happy about that. So we'll go ahead and send that up with what resources we have found. And see what we can do with it. He's uh, digging a bit too high now, isn't he? If we dug a... Nah, we didn't dig this full column, so not a big deal. Y'all stuck? Y'all good? Come on. There we go. So, yeah, the... Two, getting two blocks apart is probably the best way to avoid weird situations with this um, gadget chip um, going where you don't want it to go or blocking things that you don't want it to block. Um, had a question from another YouTuber that asked, like, do you just clear out everything? Do you just want to get everything out of the way so it's easier to fly around? Is that the play? And, you know, sometimes I feel like I wish I did that a bit more because you see how hard it is sometimes to maneuver a few of the resources uh, where you want them. But at the end of the day, effectively, you want to try to minimize how many blocks you mine in the game. It's just your goal is to get resources. Your goal is not to like, clear out a nice empty cavern. Um, so in that context, get over here. In that context, I would say you don't want to mine more than one block every layer of your, your mine without, um, unless you're going down the middle. Down the middle, you probably want 2x, that way stuff like the gadgets and whatever doesn't get blocked off. But most of the 1x can kind of be skipped. Again, Spire, I feel like, is a detriment in a lot of situations. It can help a ton if you upgrade it, but if you leave it at level 0, it's actually blocking shots you probably would have rather reflected. So we're going to go Blast Mining on this one. Drill Bear and Blast Mining is a weird combo, though, right? Um, it feels like if I'm going to do it on any character, it's going to be the Assessor. But it is interesting. Hmm. We've got a lot of mine to dig, and I think it's going to be our best way of getting that to happen. So, Throw in, send this in here. We've got a nice healthy bar. We do not have a lot going for us in terms of uh, further damage upgrades, stuff like that. But you know, we get one more iron and we start getting the bomb blown up a bit more. That'll be good too. So here we are, ready to pick a fight with some alien scum. And our sword's looking better for it. Some birds in the sky. We'll go ahead and debilitate just to try to reflect a bit more. And because he's stunned, we're actually able to basically kill this guy off. We really just need to be in blocking mode when these guys, these volleys come down, though, because, well, they don't really attack throughout their whole lifespan. They just do it for a little bit. All right, we got this, which means we're going to not be able to get the... Um, I don't know what that means. Do we... No, no, come back. Okay, did I just waste this terribly? Yeah, I did. All right, so the key, the thing is the engineer and the assessor use different keys for different things. And in this case, I think all of the gadget pick up put down stuff is completely designed with the engineer in mind and not with at all with the assessor. So even just something like trying to do this, well, of course it was a misclick in the end for me, but we'll get them next time. Let's check on Charlie down bottom. I mean, he was able to find a gadget, so I can't complain about that at all. All right, that's not the direction we're supposed to go. And then we'll send one down the middle here, and that'll clear out this entire area. Just don't want those black spots. You want to be able to see what's in there. Speaking of... This won't last too long, unfortunately, but if I do this, send left and right, that'll give us what we want to see. Where is Mr. Trilbert? Down, down, down. Here we are. Where's my man? He's doing his best. He's finding a few things here and there. Not too bad at all. We're actually going to have to send him up for. This is, I think, the game plan. And that way, he can mind it up. Alright, nice little tree. Gives us some longevity. If we find some cobalt to attach that to, that'd be great. I think we're good on water. I'm not too worried about that. The cobalt will be great. And we can't get the resource converter to really make the most of a cobalt tree. But any cobalt is good cobalt. 
So we're going to go left and right to go up. We're wanting to go up, but we're using the left and right to make that happen. Um, because I want to get this backboard here. So my charge sticks around. That's nice. Okay, I can just drop it here, and it will eventually, the roots will eventually hit that cobalt, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just bop. Um, yeah. Bop. It will lose its charge, and it'll be great. And then we just send this here. I think this will all be fine. And then we just need to avoid picking up the stuff again. Yeah, this will all work. It might spring water as it as things stand right now, but we'll fix that. We'll get the water out of there. I don't actually know the full mechanics, but I did read a little bit of what they had online about it. So, tree sounds cool in longer games, like the uh, Prestige, for example. All right, this is a, this is bad, right? This is not a time that I need to be screwing around with iron. So we'll just send it and head on up. To say hello to some of our friends. Blast mine when it comes back up can be improved. Feels like we could also just be improving delay, but we don't have the iron for it. Not yet. We will in a second. Let's just not do any upgrades. Let's get our iron that's below us and then we'll do that. Don't worry about that. For now, debilitate. Chop, 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 chop and block, and then kill a bird. Even level 1 reflection is a big deal in my mind. Obviously, upgrading it makes it that much more effective, but we really do not want to have to just do every bit of damage to the birds based on the uh, stab, the stabby sword alone. The stabby sword does get very strong. You can upgrade it a lot. It scales very well. But right now, as is, so if I take more damage, will it heal me? I can't tell if my heal has been used. Is there like an indicator for that? I think that's probably not a good idea to test now. If I was in the chair at the beginning, I might have a better gauge on my health bar. For science, we'll take w exactly one more rock. No, okay. We, I'm going to say we are exhausted our heal. And that's why our health was in as, in as good shape as it was. But, yep. Yeah. There is a, a theoretical value. And it's not even that much that um, you want to actually take damage in order to receive damage. There's like a little sound effect plays, you see your bar go up a bit, there's a little, maybe a little flash. That's really good to take advantage of, because when you look at it, activate on getting more damage than 300, and you repair 200. So that means if you've taken 100 damage, if you take more than 100 damage, you'd rather be uh, take 300 damage than take less than that. Like, Taking 150 damage and taking exactly 300, you're actually healthier by taking 300 damage because of how this repair system works. It's weird, but that's how it is. I wish there was like a little bit on the HUD that would actually show you if that's been used or not. Maybe there is, maybe I'm missing it, but the world may never know because we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit of iron here and always starting with the wrong button because why not? We're just gonna have a bunch of like random stragglers. Where's uh, squid, the squid when you need them? Alright, so we can upgrade. And, yeah, we probably want to work towards this kinetic sphere damage. Um, we That allows us to get to this um, transcendence, which will allow us to basically pierce the armor of the rock, which is super cool. But, that costs a lot, and we're just one person. We want to get that speed upgrade. I was talking about that earlier. It's very nice. It'll feel very good. And we're getting deeper, so probably should have also bought the delay before I um, activated it. No sense in it now, we'll just get the extra slow. So this goes from a duration to a longer duration, 12 seconds. And away we go. Yeah, so I kind of want to clear this out a bit. Like, I don't like not having a clear flat, straight path down bottom. Maybe it's just gotten into bad habits with the engineer, but I'm just like, at the very least, I don't want to zigzag too much to make that happen. So, we'll try this. See if it helps us at all. And maybe, heck, maybe we do get that bundle upgrade. Alright, we want to get this water out of here so our tree grows cobalt exclusively. Every 
three rounds after the tree is fully grown, which unfortunately will take six rounds. It's not a not a easy thing to accumulate. So we will be a little shorter on cobalt than we normally would be in order to set that up. But I think it's important. I think it gives that extra value where we can just start stockpiling. All right, we got our bomb. Let's see what we can do with it. Man, I do kind of feel like I should get the autonomous stun laser. It's only two water. I'm at 12 water, a bit of excess here. And yeah, it would be nice. What am I doing? I don't feel like I've done much of anything this round. Just kind of clean, tidying up or stuff like that. We could do a lot more. We're destined for much more. We're So if I do this, I can't orb. So I can't actually, that's so much worse than the engineer. So the engineer can set up a really good spot for a blast orb. The blast orb can go into a nice little pocket. You set up a, basically a maximum area of effect for the rocks. I think I have to get the line upgrade for the blast sphere because I'm not going to be able to get a good like circle upgrade, a circle output for it. So, yeah, unhappy with uh, that interaction that I can't actually dig to. And we're just gonna. Hey, we can hit, we can hit it up here. So I can't like set up my gadgets. Like I can't set up Drillbert to do what I want him to do, and dig here, because I can't throw my orbs while carrying them. I guess, you know, gravitational magic is a little bit more complex. It requires a little bit of concentration. Maybe I take it for granted a little bit. But you know, I'm gonna complain. It's fine. We're the assessor. We're, we're the cool one. Nothing else really matters. Follow the rule of cool. You can go to great places. There we go. Alright, I'm leaving this. I don't have time. I have my fast movement speed. I'm using it. I'm getting out of here. It's bad. It's bad to be this far down and this distracted by bouncy balls. But we're here and we're fighting a druid. Now we got a stun laser which can help us against him quite a bit. But it's not upgraded. We got a reflector, but it's not upgraded. So we're just going to take a bit of heat. We're going to go ahead and do what I said before, which is get this uh, autonomous stun. It does feel like there's always a few seconds that we've not been in the chair very frequently. So, you know, at the risk of encouraging ourselves to break a ha keep a habit, we're just going to respect the reality that that's not working for us right now. All right, so the way we counter this guy is by blocking as many shots as we can here until it gets close and then reflecting the shots back. This is why I don't like the Spire. It's because he's gonna, once he gets close, you can assume switch to a different damage type. We'll debilitate these rocks. Okay, now he's close enough, right? So now I can just do this. I literally, I'm not even gonna shoot him with my uh, shock, uh, like our, or my sword. I'm just gonna literally sit here, hands off the controller, and watch him kill himself. Debilitate, obviously, taking that, making the take a little bit longer, but this guy's easy. He's going to get a little bit of free hits off with his little barrage. And the rest of it's just up to me to watch him burn. Obviously, when there's like 10 things going on and there's two druids on each side, then it's not going to be so simple. But as it stands, it feels pretty cool. Alright. Alright. So we had a gadget towards the left side. We're going to keep this cobalt here on purpose as our tree grows deeper roots. Drillbert, why are you here? Did you turn around? Okay, so he turned around and he nearly dug through the gap we want. So that's not good. Let's uh just make a path for him this way. Alright, and grab him. And go that route. And then we're gonna grab our we'll do our own thing for a second. Use our orbs. What are you doing? I release you from this spell. Move forth and dig. Alright, he's hover digging. 
obviously stand. So if I mess up and I, if I mess up and I have the bundle upgrade, is he f stunned for fifty thousand percent of the time, base time or whatever? Like, I don't know. Infinite bundle duration starting to feel a little bad if Drillbert gets uh, locked out of his participation in the world, his one life's purpose. Alright, we got a big bundle. We got to try to make it nice and easy for ourselves to send it up. I think this will work. And then, bop. This might take a little too long, but we'll do what we can. Get off of my gold. There's gold in them cards. It's a throwback. I do think if there was any game I wish I could go back and YouTube playthrough of for myself or any of my friends, I think Inscription would have been a great one. We weren't really doing the, the YouTube VOD stuff as much at the time, but that was actually quite a trip. Not the hardest game. Not the most n most narratively complex, but definitely interesting, like engaging. I mean, narratively complex is definitely a word that comes to mind when I think of that game, though. I just... I'm not going to expect people to say, like, it's the best game in the world, I guess is what I'm saying. Oh, boy. We really did it to ourselves this time. And yeah, so, like, you'll notice this always happens, not when I'm really drilling and setting things up, but it's almost always happening when I'm trying to carry stuff up. Because carrying without a lift as the accessories is hard. So as much as I feel like I've gotten a few advantages going into this one, just the simple fact that I don't have a lift is a massive handicap. And speak of the devil. Now the lift doesn't actually go all the way down to the bottom on huge maps. It'll eventually hit a um, block, some blo permanent blockage. You can't really get around. But you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For right now, we're gonna give our l new little lift a uh, one little orb. Actually, yeah, it's fine. It'll work great. And a little repair action before we go. Despite that being technically irrelevant since we have the water thing that should do it for us. Alright, let's chop. Alright, and bam! Cutting the bubbles, cutting the bird. We did miss the rock, so we're not feeling like the coolest kid on the block, but we're not doing too bad. Get him out of here. Maybe it's the wisps only one-shot themselves when I have debilitate. I think I might have been running that the first time I found interactions like that. Oh well. Stun laser, do your thing. Yeah, get him out of here. No burrowing for you. Alright, I have some iron nearby. I have my repellent ready to roll. But because it goes on 1.9 delay, it's actually not too bad for me to like let it sit for one tenth of a cycle. I'm going to go ahead and let my repellent sit. Send some of these irons in. This way, guys. This way, this way. Follow me. Even you. We're just going to send it up. So we just soak up what we can. Send it right up. The orbs can do some of the work. I can do the rest. We basically have that like 26 iron upgrade for free. Because it's already kind of clumping up the way we want it to, which is very nice. So as soon as this gets up here, we can then upgrade our repellent. Give ourselves a nice long round to work with. Which we should do right now. The other thing, of course, we want to get a little bit of lift um, speed. And we want the sticky directional charges since we've outlined some issues there. So a lot of little gadget upgrades on the way. we got the resources to make it happen. So let's do it. Um, oh, we're talking about delay 2. Beautiful. Lift movement speed. Upgrade. Then we hit up the sticky directional charges. Wonderful. And then we just hit two of these. And we have effectively used our water the most efficient way I think we can with the gadgets we have available. Could theoretically have been pushing for a little bit more drill, drill bit strength, but I'm really happy with what we have. Um, the only thing I'm lacking, feeling like I lack now is 
So a little bit of uh, sword upgrades. So we'll definitely try to remedy that ASAP. But now we can just really play around this lift. Nice long repellent run. We have directional charges, so we can watch what we're going to do for the lift. It's usually a real pain to get a lot of lift energy going here. But now we can just... Boom. Take out a huge chunk of what was in our way. And feel good about it. I think the best bet for me to actually help out this cobalt tree find its roots is cutting off a huge part of this. It's not going to be full grown until 6 anyways. It just might give us some iron for the first couple rounds, which is not the end of the world. And i got to get rid of this, so I'll just send it down. So now we can just do stuff like this. And send it out. If we can beat Assessor, an Assessor run on our, the highest difficulty on our first real try. I don't think I've beaten the game on Brutal with him. I just, I've played with him a few times, but... And each time I think I get a little better, but it, I will be happy if we can make that, uh, close that distance and take the highest difficulty on. Not every day you get to magic rocks around. Yeah, and I did want to try to get some good runs in with him before I looked up any tutorials or any online materials. This is just literally me looking at the character and seeing what it can do. Um, I know a lot of times I'll look to optimize based on other people's guides, thoughts, ideas, and it's, you know, the world of the internet nowadays. I don't think there's any shame in that. I just kind of feel extra proud if I'm able to come up with my own idea. Like if I make my own deck of cards and I'm able to stomp people with it, that, that feels better than pulling somebody else's, just as like a personal sense of pride. So, here we are. I do think we could have made this run a lot easier on ourselves by just doing something so as simple as showing up on time. But, send it up, and it'll go some good distance all by itself, which I think helps the orbs. I don't really know, actually, because I, they kind of seem to go to the bottom regardless. But, up, up, and away. I'm, like, racing it. It's great. Come on up, materials. Okay, so we're not going to get a sword upgrade on this. I really shouldn't stall out any time at all. Just messing with this, but it is kind of nice, satisfying to like see it go all the way from whence it came. So, here we are, crunch the numbers, and see if we have any upgrades we want to go for. Lift orb, one more of those could be good. Like I was saying, Drillbert could be pretty solid too, especially as we get deeper and he's basically like stuck doing nothing. But it is important that we save for this laser stuff. Our laser can get super strong very quickly if we just save a little bit more. Hmm. If I find another cache of iron, it's going to be a lot more than nine, I can tell you that. So what I'm going to do, one more lift orb, Drillbert strength, and the rest will be saved. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Another fight coming our way. This time, this is the first fight in a while we've actually been here at the beginning. So let's see what small advantage we can pull from that. We've got a druid. Trying to reflect these as best I can. I do not have a very significant splash pad for this. I don't think we can do much with this ranged weapon. Like, we can't wind it around like the long range one. Because we're at fast stab. Which I still generally prefer. But doesn't have the flexibility to do stuff like that. Where I keep the uh, shield pad in a very defensive position. So we took a decent chunk of damage here. But all we have to do is just block the shots now. And feel good about ourselves. We're doing great. Alright. Last boy. Oh, I could just kill him super quick. Okay, I forgot how... So I was kind of in the mindset where he, like, takes forever to kill. But that's no longer true. We're a big stabby boy. And that guy... Is pretty tanky for the sh wave that he shows up on. Which can be as early as, like, th I feel like three or four sometimes, but he's not, in the grand scheme of things, he's definitely not the, the hardiest monster, so. Um, yeah. Good dig, dig, dig down. I hear Drillbert hard at work. Good job, buddy. You're making it happen. So, the way you want to dig this, um, you can start off with something like this. 
So the way you want to dig for your elevator when you don't have your blast sphere, which I hope I should get another one pretty soon. What you actually want to do is go sideways. And then you don't go up and down at the location of the elevator. You go up and down at a location like this, which again has that support above it where the orbs can bounce. You get as deep as you can this way, and then you come back up from below. That's, from my perspective, the most efficient way of doing this. Let's see if we can just spin around a couple of these. Not really, but yeah, I got the orbs. This is nice, easy rock to chew through. So we should be able to get some distance both up and down the next time we try to make this happen. And now we're going to say, elevator, come on down. Which is nice to see. And then a little bit of this. Alrighty. Down you go, little bunny. I mean, I know that he's not completely finished on the left side, and there definitely could be some stuff waiting for him that way, but I'm just going to send him down one, two, three, four layers, and send it off to the, eh, let's say right. Yeah, I haven't done too many of those bank shots just recently, but I feel like there's some good potential there where you can kind of start it one way, and if you're super cool, you can then kind of feed it into a different location. Not too worried about it, though. I feel like this guy's already complex enough without trying to, like, maximize a few specific orb shots. All right. Look at our resources. Look at what we're doing for ourselves. It's looking great. We could either go for the fast stab, which will increase our stab damage to 70 and bring the cooldown to one second, or we can go for the longer blade, which we like as well. Obviously, this would be saving. This one's now. So I think in the interest of just moving forward, we'll do the one that's now. Or we can activate the repellent increase. I think that might be good. So repellent. Max Repellent, Delay 3, 0. 0.5. I haven't really done a lot with this, but feels like it could have a lot of potential. So, even could use it now in theory, but I think I've, I was already waiting too long with the Repellent before. I might not even have it up by the end of this round, which is, you know, we can work with that. All right, battle time. So, no upgraded ranged weapon, but already feeling like we can handle most of this stuff anyways. Oops. As I say that, chop. Bink, 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 and hit him. All right, we're just trying to block as many of these as we can. We cannot kill this guy with sword pokes in the time that it takes for him to get from point B to point A. So we're just gonna let him move. We're just gonna block what we can, minimize the damage. Yeah, you really can't tell if you've taken the 300 or not, which is just, like, a shame, I guess, but it's fine. And then we just give him a little poke. Hey, what you doing, druid? Get off of my lawn. And a couple more should do it. If I have any idea what this guy's health is, which I really don't. It's kind of big, but we're fine. Um, we don't have any water now. We've used it effectively. So somebody a while ago would have said, wow, I really have so much water. What am I going to do with it? I'm going to use it to upgrade gadgets. I'm going to make my stuff really nice. And I feel like it is really nice. Feels good. All right. The repellent has been upgraded so much that it feels like it is worth it because I don't plan on coming back to the dome for a second. So usually the idea of like waiting and wasting time just to gain time is silly. But this is 0.5 cycles right now. That's half that yellow bar you see at the bottom. I'm going to stick around with it, and I hope that it will feel worthwhile. All right. Let's see. We're prob uh, probably going to reach the bottom of the lift here. Then from that point forward, we're just going to have to see what we can do with it. All right. Drill burt, drill burt, drill burt. Wake it up. This is a nice horde, though, and we're, our lift is right next to it. So much easier to m manage things now. 
night and day difference. Like looking at this, like eight nodes of, or nine nodes of iron. If I had to look at this, even more. There's so much iron here, and if I had to look at this without the lift and be like, how I, I would literally just be thinking, how long is it going to take me to get all this crap up? And now I just get to enjoy it, which is great. I just get to grab it all. So unfortunately, for those assessor fans that are unlucky, I do not feel like it's super viable to run assessor without a lift. Because although he does have some like m ways to move things that can work in spite of it, at the end of the day, you need a lift. At least at the big maps. So we're here. We're watching Drillbert do his job. Supervising, as they call it. And we get ourselves a little activity. Is this a gadget, though? Or is it something a little bit more? Ooh, Cobalt Cave. And yes, indeed, it is our first hint at where the relic may lie. To the right of our portal, or our lift, or whatever. And a gadget right next door. Beautiful. Alright, so this is going to be our best entry point right here. And then we can go kind of up and down from there. Make sure we get through that, and then up and down, and wait for our next orb to cool down, and up and down. Cooldown's not as bad. The or upgrade that I got that also added extra orbs also decreased the cooldown, so feeling decent about it. Oh, forgot about this stuff. Okay, now I can do it. Come on. Come on. Help me out here. So the lift is going to get clogged a bit. I feel like I don't have to upgrade the lift as much, though, because worst case scenario, I can always start bundling it up and pulling it up through the straight path that I've kind of created for myself. We have to get moving, though. It's going to take us a while to get up there. And, oh, I, <laughs> I've been trying to pull this cobalt. And it's just, I did reflect it from the tree in the first place. All right. I think I'm just going to be happy to put it on the cart and then kind of move it from there. So, I do not think I will be able to bring this all the way up with me. I can do stuff like this where I, like, pick it up and then shoot it again, and that's kind of fine, but at the end of the day, I just need to get up there. I cannot risk the dome having to keep itself. Anything? Patience? Fast stab? Once we get that iron up, we'll have our long blade. So I think we'll just be patient this time around. Be happy with that. Alright, what do we have? We have a slinger on the right, a slinker, and a Black Friday shopper. As well, we've got some bubbles on the left, and a big boy in the sky. Well, I think we'll start with the big boy. Alright, we do the melee thing, chop to the right, chop back up for the rock, and now we do this thing. Got a really fast cooldown on this thing, so I can just kill all the bubbles, block the shot, then fire to the right, break the rock. Look at this job we have done, negating almost all the threats in play from the native alien species who have done no wrong and are merely trying to defend themselves against a force they do not understand. A little bleak, but that's how it be. Let's see what gadget we got. Yeah! So yeah, little speed boost if you do this. It's kind of minor, but... <sighs> prospecting or Spire. If we upgrade the Prospecting meter, it will show us where these little s materials are. With our eyesight from the satellite dish thingy, we are kind of are halfway there. We'd have to upgrade this so much just to get the value out of it, and we don't really have the water for that. That being said, I actually feel like unless you upgrade the Spire a lot, it's actually a downside against those Druid guys. Hmm, decisions, decisions. At the end of the day, even if it is a downside against the druid guys, it's not... It just slows down how long it takes to kill them. It doesn't hurt my position in the game. I'm no longer in the mode where, like, reflecting will actually be the make or break of how we make this game happen, so... Yeah, we'll take some spire shots. It's worth a couple cobalt for that, I'd say. 
And then we just want to heal. Heal it up. And bop, bop. I think that would not overheal if I grabbed the third one, but let's just stick it with two. We're happy with that. Alright, we have a nice horde of iron. Yeah, we can just get stuff when we get back up there. Not worried about it right now. So we kind of have a better idea of what we're up against in terms of where this relic's at. So we can start looking to the right. Drillbert. Just YOLO over here. Running across. Seeing what he can dig up himself. So you'll often get times get this kind of weird geometry where you're just doing like a little step ladder thing in order to always make sure you have something at your back. And I think it, it does create a lot of potential value. Alright. Gonna go ahead and send him over here to start digging the base of the relic. And we'll just go ahead and do this as well. This is where the big orb spin kind of helps. If you get... um one of the last upgrades of your spheres, you can transcend the hardness, and even though we're at, like, a certain, or quite a bit of depth, where it's got, like, the coefficient that increases the node density, or the the time it takes to, to mine through, I feel like it's still got some kick in, like, you're basically able to make sure that at, it takes a maximum of five hits to break any block, which... It's cool because you can literally dig to the bottom of the earth. It, theoretically, if like the infinite mode goes down, down, down and just doesn't stop, then that's like the best option, right? Because it doesn't matter how much harder it is, you don't even have to upgrade your drill any further. It's just as is. Kind of cool. But as it is, we got it. And now we have to connect the dots. But not today. Today we head back up to the surface and see what we can do. We have the 20 iron we needed in order to fly our upgrade our sword and we'll just have to see you after that. Sword, sword, sword. So we want the, yeah, the long blade 2. It's going to be really good in terms of damage output. Very fast as well. High agility. I'm a big fan. And unless we're looking to... I guess we could be reducing stick direction charges, production time reduction. Ooh, that's almost twice as often. That's pretty sick. That could help a lot for what we're trying to accomplish with the... Um, you know, digging this stuff up. Yeah, I'll go for that. And away we go. Look at this monster of a blade. Speeding back and forth. Oh, you can actually just hammer it against and get kind of counter momentum. Oh, okay, that's three. I didn't expect that. I was kind of just demoing the new shiny, but realistically I should probably be killing stuff. So, BRB. We definitely want to get that back, the the re reflector, the little shield, improved. Because that can help a lot against these kinds of guys. The spire, level zero spire is not so great against them. But yeah, this little reflector can cover a lot more area. But basically, I was just going to be saying, like, you can just do this, and kind of bounce it, and get some counter momentum as I take unnecessary dome damage. Because I thought my spire was good at this game or something, I don't know. It's fine. Bop. I'll just poke him in the eye. Bop. That's not his eye. A little bit low. There we go, right in the eye. What are you doing, bud? Trying to be a keeper of the grove? Little well, scenarius fella? Not today. And this is another time where, unfortunately, we just really wait for the repellent. And then we bring it down. Now, we did reduce their charge recharge time on the bomb, so we'll have one guaranteed per cycle, and we can even maybe even come back a bit early to get a second one, which is cool. Oh yeah, if it, so I was also curious how the gadget cycle time stacks. Is it based on how much time passes in the actual cycle, or because I effectively have 1.5 cycles thanks to the repellent, would I be able to get like almost three bombs built? Like if I dropped a bomb, came back after half time, 
and then grabbed another bomb, and then came back to defend my dome. Would I almost have a third bomb ready by the end? Because it's one point six. I don't know. I'm curious if yeah, if this uh, this kind of extends the the cooldown factor for some of this other stuff. Because if that's the case, the Republic can kind of create a lot more value than it normally would. So we know we're looking for a relic. We know that this is kind of the leftmost part of it. And this is the center. We see some action to the right. We see some action down. Down's going to be the hardest to mine. It also has a nice pot of gold at the bottom, usually. Unfortunately, we hit literally uh, like the bottom of the world. I have kind of forgot about that kind of being the, the limit on it. So that's two bombs that didn't really do what we wanted them to do, but yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. Cool thing is, we have that extra supervision, so we can just burn through this a bit. Yeah, it would be nice to get the um, the sphere upgrades to make things a bit easier to chew through. By the end of the day, though, I think the only upgrades I really want that badly are going to be the the dome defense ones, getting the extra reflection shield plate, and maybe even getting like the lightning sword, that kind of stuff, or the javelin. So that's pretty cool. And I always like to take a stab at the last wave if I can, but it's kind of talking as if we've already won, which. Frankly, I can't say that there's any reason we haven't. We've got 11 Cobalt up against um, ways we've been able to manage quite handily. Now let's make Drillbirds do some of this work. He can't do this alone. All right, bud. But yeah, I was worried not being able to do like a brutal d run difficulty with this guy because of uh, you know, various challenging factors. No, 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 no. All right. Assessor has been assessed and we found some value. I'm never gonna make a claim like he's better than the engineer, but I do think that if you if you just want a chill game, go for the engine, no, no doubt about it. If you just want to have the best character that probably handles things the most efficiently in 90% of situations, stick with the engineer, once again. I only would recommend the assessor if you wanna try something new, you got the, the attention span for it where you can like kind of think about your approach a little bit more actively. Make it happen. It's not the most complex, like, super cerebral thing in the world, but it's certainly not a walk in the park either, especially for the first handful of times you run it. So, I'm down with it. I like it a lot. Where do we go from here? To the lift, I imagine. You know, I never really used the tree at all. I set it up there. It's probably got some iron hanging off of it for a while, but I'm just like, I'm not playing prestige. I don't care about it too much. And I want to send all this to the lift because, yeah, but we're just going to head up because we care about minimizing the damage we take and finding success elsewhere. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. You kind of forget how dark it is down there until you kind of come back up and see the light. Or maybe that's just an effect that happens when the combat starts. I don't know. Either way, we're here. Got a little cobalt, cobalt. And it's choppy chop time. Chop. I also like seeing the progression where like guys that were like took like five chops to go through now clearly are so much easier to deal with. Like that guy just got mince meated. It's actually insane how different it could be. But I guess you just don't get that effect as much with the laser because while well, you can see that he the, the guy got incinerated clearly a, like a half a second faster or in a quarter of the time than it usually would, you don't get like a numerical like how many swipes it took. You, you swing at a guy three times and he doesn't die and you swing at a guy one time and he does die. Like you feel the power a little bit more. So it's just better feedback more than anything. Hmm. Clean. Obviously taking some shots here and there, but I can't say I'm too worried about it. We are doing great. Now, we do have to kind of understand the rhythm of the game is that we are probably not going to... I'll just check on the tree just to show you guys, even though I can't actually take advantage of it. So yeah, it's just an iron hanging out here. It will have up to three on it in the next couple rounds. But, oh, no. Seriously? That just happened. 
All right. Um. Yeah, I, the last fear has been a nightmare for me <laughs> so far. Like top, up at the top, breaking it. The second one, going in, just hitting dead air real quick, and then now just literally leaving it so far, far enough behind that it broke away from me, um, by its, of its own volition. All right, Drillbert, you're my man. You're gonna have to clean this one up for me, if I can ever figure out how to pick up gadgets like you. How do I do this game? Is it just okay? Backwards controls. All right, so that's active. That's active. It looks like just bottom left is really where we want to be. So he's kind of already on the mark. I'll send you over. Um, can you um do your job? Yeah, get him. Transcend, transcend, transcend. Yeah. See, now I can send it down south hard, pretty hard, and it'll just bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and go. It has a finite duration, finite lifetime, but just going to the top of the screen to the middle is enough that we can get where we want to go. Do a little zigzag. Do a little left, right. We find ourselves a pet, it looks like. I think that's what that is. And frankly, that's high priority. Along with the masses of iron that I forgot that we accumulated over here. We're going to go ahead and grab that too. Because I like money. All right. There we go. Yeah. I hopefully, I'm not the only one. If you guys have played the assessor and feel like it's kind of awkward to like pick up and drop stuff, that's not the basic resources. You get the flow of that after a while. But even just like picking up Drillbert, picking up uh, the gadget microchip, picking up an egg, this kind of stuff feels a little awkward compared to the engineer. I think it, maybe it's because it, re it reverses the control scheme of what you think. Maybe it's because I'm bad. You never know. But we got our stuff up on the lift. And as much as we'd like to send it on its way, we got a dome to keep, so to it. Invoker. Alright, so the egg is doing its egg thing. We got another bomb. We can try once more to not throw it against a random wall. And, yeah, not much more to say. Let's, uh... Duel. Du -du 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 Duel. Yeah, so we can just do that. Watch this. I'm just going to do this the whole time. I know I'm going to take some shots from the keeper, but I'm just going to see how effective this is as I miss a shot. Just left, right, bounce it off, kind of get some reverse momentum. I take a couple bubbles, but really not much at all. And we'll debilitate this to reduce the damage, even though we have seven cobalt. On guard. Uh, I always miss that first shot, or I assume that the spire will take it, which of course it won't. Yeah, spire feels. I, I actually would might r just rather have two cobalt. The spire's not doing anything at this stage, other than eating this guy's shots, which I kind of was perfectly fine with him throwing at me. Get him. So, if I were to try to defeat the final round, the kind of upgrades that I would want is... Uh, Electrified Blade seems like a lot, so just to be more realistic, I would like level 3 slow. I would like Reflection 2 or 3. And Fast Stab 2. I think that should be enough to cover a realistic amount. The fact of the matter is... It's this is a higher difficulty. I'm I'm almost guaranteed not going to be able to finish the last round, but it's always fun to try. So I'll mess with it for now, though. Oh, and I, I guess I get the spire upgrade too. Give it uh, some extra charges would be nice, or not charges, but uh, cooldown reduction. It could just help out more, block more damage. Not the most important thing, but it's an easy three. 
All right. But priorities, priorities. We're here to win the game, right? Here to make it happen. So Trillbird's doing that stuff. Is there anything up top? It looks like it's just the bottom left still, which I think we already knew. But um, yeah, I guess this is gonna be the hardest stuff to beat. So I just have to get some momentum and then go. Hey, throw it in the wall. Hey, we did a good blast orb for once. Amazing. And away we go. Three water for you. Send it all up and around. Real, genuine assessor gameplay. Can you believe it, guys? Up, up, up. <laughs> it's just like, what? what is this kinetic energy? It's just kind of starts spin pinwheeling out of control. No idea where it's going. Unbridled power. It's the chaos magician. Just doesn't know what he's doing, but he knows he's doing it. Alright, if we can break this, that'd be kind of nice. And throw it over here, because we don't care, actually. We got plenty of time. That repellent? Hmm. Give us a nice long breeze. So it's actually further to the left, is what we're looking for. For our next guy. So I most likely need to start digging down. But I've got like a million things floating here, so I gotta send that up first. Where is it, Mousy? Need do they tell you? Triple orb. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Yep. Caught it. Alright, so give it its energy back. Make sure it doesn't fall apart on us. Probably try to break this if I can. And then bring these two in. And water. Eh. Just stick with the major piece of it for right now. We're not garbage collectors. We're a gravity sorcerer. I feel like there's a game that had like gravity as a magic type. Maybe it's just like a random like Warcraft 3 custom game or something like that. But I do feel like there's been an idea of like gravity wizards or cosmic sorcerers of some sort or another. Which I think is an interesting idea since it's just different from your standard elemental stuff. It's very easy to like consider the applications of a water bender or whatever, but what the heck can a gravity bender do? You know? Like it's not been fully explored. And there's gotta be some good ideas out there. Obviously you can smash stuff, like no doubt. Black holes, cool. Bring stuff together. Sure. But is there more potential applications of that? Who knows? We need like an ultra nerd, like anime geek or writer that also happens to work for NASA and astrophysics. And just see what they come up with. I feel like of what I've seen from Neil deGrasse Tyson, it's, he's more of a buzzkill and that kind of stuff and would invalidate the fun theory crafting related to such sorcery. But that's the idea. Okay, two birds. We're going to try to kill two birds with one sword. And we succeed. They're not really birds. They have little octopi tentacles. But instinctively they kind of feel like birds so that's what I'll go with even though my more appropriate name is for them is the screech because that's what they do they give a little yell before they dive bomb the heck out of you all right didn't handle these guys too well but again I'm kind of lazing it up a bit I know there's not really a major risk and the only thing I'm missing out on is a little tiny bit of health for the grand finale we are comfy we are so comfy. Let's go ahead and try to wrap this up a bit. I'd still like to bring up all this iron that I've already mined, but I'm not too... Excuse me? Sir? If you could just... Yep. And then just give it a little scooch. Yeah! Where make it work for me.
Um, I could do that, but that's not really our goal. Our goal is to discover what lies to the left. Further to the left than that, even. Hmm. Could it be? Are the legends true? Well, let's. I, we can see pretty far, right? So let's um just throw it over here. Yeah. And then we can dig down a bit. I don't know where Drillboat ran off to. He deserves a vacation. I'm not too worried about it. Let's see what we can get away with. Go from there. See, I like to do zigzags. So horiz alternate horizontal and vertical. Always put your back to a wall. And that's how you get power to your orbs. Even, uh, I, like, I've spent two upgrades on my orbs. Maybe three. But, like, I've not invested nearly as much as, like, the engineer would, for example. So I guess that's a slight advantage to the assessor, is he can do more with less. You would never be mining down here with an... Uh, could you imagine for a second? Oh, I got this nice little cave here. Which is weird, because I think I read that these are both yellow caves. The satellite and the, um... The, uh... Portal, but whatever. But I'm just thinking, like, could you imagine trying to dig the bottom relic on a huge map with an assess uh, engineer who's only sp invested, like, maybe 30 iron into his upgrades for drill? Like, total? Because I got, like, the 6 there, 6 there, 12 there, and then 12 there. So, yeah, that's, like, 36. And, and that's just crazy. Because we're, like, digging relics with that same amount of investment. That would only put you, like, a level 3 drill for the NG. So that's the one thing they have going for them, I think, is the cost-effectiveness of their orbs if you use them properly. And I believe we have, or else we wouldn't be here. 42 iron. We can bring some cobalt up for that little finish we were talking about. I wonder what happens if you just drop the relic. Do the rats, like, start swarming over it? What happens there? <sighs> just a little too much to carry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and repel this wave of intruders. And then come back down for the relic. And that way I can bring up that extra cobalt and stuff. I have the teleporter all set up. Might as well use it. Quick, spray the repel. Pellet. No, it's too late. They're already here. Yeah. Ultimate bug spray. All right. I don't really care about the water so much, but the cobalt. Where'd the other one go? It's gone. I thought there was two cobalt. If I did this all for one cobalt, it's probably dumb. But here we are. Yep, we did this all for one cobalt. I don't know. I thought I had to. And if I don't, then whatever. Yeah, I was definitely carrying more because it's too heavy. Oh well. Have a good one, Drillbert. We're off to keep the dome. Well, we can take this one that we kind of set up to be basically useless. Thanks to um, this tree not doing what we wanted. But Oh, so I guess it only gets three branches if it's next to three ingredients. So if you get like two cobalt nodes, then it can't... Oh gosh, I'm out of time. I'm late for a very important date. What is that noise, exactly? Okay, I'm just gonna leave this. There's something going on up there. Uh, that's gotta be the, the elder, the big one. The big guy up top. The man in charge, yeah, okay. Well, let's see our upgrades. We could go electric. We could go slow. We... There was one more that I, I really wanted was the, the defensive plate. More blockage. But at the end of the day, we just kind of need to kill stuff really fast, too. Tough call. I'm definitely going to get the max slow, because that's really strong. The overcharge stuff costs too much, or we would do that. So instead, we will. We can do 10 and 20 and get the javelin. And I think we want that, because we just want, like, one second cooldown spam, st stab spam. And that gives us just enough to also get the reflection. So we're perfect. We're doing great. We'll go ahead, repair this, finish this wave off, and then bring in the relic and see if we can finish it off. Obviously, I could have finished this five minutes ago. If you enjoyed the run, hopefully you can 
throw me a like, comment, and a uh, subscribe, but let's just see this one through to the end. Heck, I might lose here. Can't be too careful. Javelin time. See, that's where the shield pad should be blocking all the things, and I'm not doing that properly. Stop shooting me. Got the sword. Missed the lasers. He's shielding. Alright. Bombos is down. So too is the other pieces. And we got some nice fellas here. Alright. Big guy up top is gone. Now we stomp, stomp, and we walk away. I do not, as it is right now, and what I've been seeing so far, I do not think we will even put a dent in the final wave, but it's fun to try. So, we'll say goodbye to our little kitty cat friend, Drillbert, and etc. Where exactly did I put the cobalt? Got one there. I just mined a second one. Man, every time I go up, I feel like a cobalt disappears from underneath. Um, there it is. Cool. I don't care about the iron. Let's just go. Let's wrap it up. But still, it feels good. Hot, huge map, highest difficulty. Yeah, I got a couple things that really helped me make it happen. And that's kind of the roguelike aspect of the game. But here we are. One man, one dome, one penguin, one cat. And a world of hurt coming to some alien scum. Let's go. That's a bird. Uh, it's a not what I wanted because the javelin doesn't work the same way as the uh, the other launcher. You have to charge it up. All right. Speaking of which, oh, barely got it. And then we have to chop that one, which we should have just been doing. We should just be doing this, right? We'll charge up for this, and then we'll left and right from here and kill everything. Yeah, just nonstop, left and right. You can shoot range while shooting melee if you're so insanely sick. So you just want to kind of do this, right? You want to melee attack while also doing range attacks thanks to the javelin. While also blocking all the shots with shields. This is insanely impossible. Never mind. I'm just making things up. Technically speaking, you have the inputs available, like frame by frame, to do some good ranged and melee damage. You have to release your javelin at like the perfect time, block back all these shots that are impossible to block on the right side. Oh, I hit the guy at the top. Oh, I missed the shot. Oh, no. G -g 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 Relic away. Max upgrades, I could see it, but who's got time for that? Your dome is saved. You asked for it. Difficulty completed. Destroyed 1,500 blocks, give or take, and got 291 resources. Nice 83-minute run for the Assessor. Assessor, Sword, Dome, and the repellent not bad not bad at all take a nice little screenshot here and we can call it a night thank you guys so much for tuning in it was a nice chance to see what we could do here two hour long run did i start with a failed run today i don't think so i'd start with a misfire um with a because I had a um, leftover gadget that I had to get rid of so that I could have this one freshed. I did not start with a gadget, just the uh, default HUD, which is a few resource advantage that I don't put too much stock into. I think that this was a legit run, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be it here today for the Assessor, for the Dome Keeper. If you guys have an idea for um, a mode you'd like to see, if it's a certain Keeper, a certain dome, certain gadget, maybe even see what this orchard can do. I think it's better with the uh, NG because actually like the drill upgrade makes more sense for him. Or, or if you want to see how deep we can go in the prestige mode, there's some good options there. Endless prestige mode I'm curious about. Just like seeing how far we can go with that on some random night. I haven't really checked it out at all. But uh, as it is, um, we also have some run modifiers. Maze is one that interests me the most because this is the one that's like... If you wanted a difficulty number five, something passed, you asked for it, it would be this. Maze sounds painful. There's no advantage to it from what I can read, and I just don't think it would be 
that enjoyable, but if we're looking for a challenge, that's the way to go. And if you just want to see some chill runs, we just do some like hard, brutal, NG, play around, and just kind of hang out and chat, that's fine too. So, uh, I guess, yeah, next step would be maybe you ask for it without long cycles, see if that's any better or worse, and then, yeah, eventually step it up to the maze. But I think for next time, I'll probably just go for a prestige run and see where that takes us. In the end, this was a lot of fun to record and a lot of fun to kind of grow in mastery of this game over the past few weeks and really enjoy what it has to offer. Very cool game. Highly recommend it if you haven't picked it up yet. Uh, Dome Keeper. But for now, we're going to wrap it up. We have had a nice long video, a nice long chat, and a nice long game of Dome Keeper. And we hope to see you guys next time. Have a good night.